All right. So this is my LeBron shoe collection. I just want to show you all the shoes before I get into the topic. Okay, starting off the first pair. These are the Zoom LeBron 3 right there. Moving over, we got the 5s, 6s, and then the two pairs everyone seems to be real, real fond of, the 7s, and then last we got the LeBron 8s, which are really dark, so. Okay, I'm just going to zoom back out and get into the topic. The topic is, do you think it's time for them to start to retro the LeBrons a little bit? I'm not saying like have the LeBron 10 out and then start just piling out LeBron 2 just like selling them because that's going to obviously that's going to hurt the LeBron 10 sales but I'm saying I'm thinking just like put out maybe put just some out occasionally just like I'm trying to think of how they could do it just actually leave a comment telling me how you think they should do it. Because I'm really wanting to get a pair of the LeBron 3s. I'm really wanting to get a pair of those in the high tops. Because I had those when I was younger and they're the really my favorite pair of shoes of all time. But that's kind of, that's all I, kind of the whole topic of the video. Is it, is it time to start to retro the LeBrons? And if they do, I really hope that they keep the quality. Because each one of those shoes is really high quality on it. Like... Hold on. The LeBron 8, this one. This one, like look, just like everything on it is really kind of, it's just a quality shoe. Like this stuff, like, these are three years old now. It's still super soft. The, the 6. This is really good leather. It's just, and the 5 is really, had really, really good. Like these were my basketball shoes that I played in eighth grade. Like they were beat because these were the shoes that I played in. And look how like just still good the leather is on them because it's it's real leather. So and the those threes those are junk because those have been literally beat to hell. They're not worth anything. But that's kind of the whole video. Just leave a comment telling me if you think it's time for them to start to retro the LeBrons out a little bit. I personally think they should, but that's um, I have a really biased opinion on that because I want to get because I'm missing. I had the ones when I was younger. I want to get the ones, twos, threes, and fours. And then I have all the way up to eight. I'm not a fan of the nines and the tens. I like, but they priced them too high. I have a part of me that just says that I'm not going to pay $180 for a pair of shoes. Like those, the, sev the sevens and the eights were at the top of what I'm going to pay for a pair of shoes, 160 bucks. And look, the thing is, the LeBron 9 didn't have anything special that the LeBron 8 did. It had worse materials than the 8. How was the 8 160 and the LeBron 9 170? That's getting into my rant about how Nike's prices are complete bullshit. I've done a video on them. If you want to watch that video, it's on this channel. So, and that video I didn't realize that the music was too loud, so I apologize for that. I just don't want to remake the video because I'm kind of lazy. And I got a lot of math and homework and algebra to do. I'm just, got a lot of these video topics I want to get out of the way. So that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. So I'm going to start making a whole bunch of these little videos like this to put on here. Kind of start getting a discussion on the topics I want to talk about when it comes to shoes and everything. So that's it. Like I said, be sure to subscribe to this channel.